For Monday's reading, it says to read page 46 through 47 and prepare to discuss it during tomorrow's live meet. So, I'm going to help you guys go through that. So, the section is Embarrassed Blame Your Brain by Jennifer Connor Smith. That's the text we're going to be reading this week. So, compare theme and main idea. As you read these texts, notice how their ideas relate to your own experiences, as well as how those ideas relate to the experiences of other young people. Then, look for ways that the ideas in the two texts relate to each other. After you read both sections, you will collaborate with a small group on a final project. So, the same essential question. How do you find courage in the face of fear? Something to think about. Quick start. Disappointing someone or feeling embarrassed won't cause physical pain or permanent damage. So, why fear either one? With a group, discuss how fear of embarrassment can affect how we behave. So, since we aren't in groups today, we are going to discuss this tomorrow, but I want you to think about that. How can the fear of being embarrassed affect how we behave? Something I know I do is if I'm afraid I'm going to be embarrassed, I won't act a certain way or I'll be more reserved and I'll be more quiet in situations so that way I'm not embarrassed. Because while it doesn't physically hurt me, mentally I feel like it does make me uncomfortable. Make predictions. You make predictions, reasonable guesses, based on what you know from experiences all the time. Then, as you gain additional information, you either confirm that a prediction is correct or revise it if it happens to be wrong. You can also make and confirm predictions as you read. Use the following aspects of informational text to help you predict the topics, ideas, and evidence an author discusses. So the text features are the subheadings, the bolded words, and graphics point out important ideas that you can use to make your predictions. Text structure is the way text is organized, which helps you Take in new information and predict what the author will explain next. Analyze organizational patterns to help understand that may to help understand ideas that may be new to you. Authors of informational text organize facts and examples carefully. Here are some common organizational patterns. So the definition explains a topic or idea by identifying its key character characteristics and or distinguishing it from similar or related topics or ideas. So if there's a new word, often an author will bold that word and they'll include a glossary or they'll include a definition right there in the reading. Classification organizes objects, ideas, or information into groups or classes based on common characteristics. Advantage and disadvantage evaluates a topic or proposal by analyzing both its positive and negative aspects. So, as you read the Embarrassed Blame Your Brain story, note how the author uses a variety of organizational patterns to help you better understand the, top, the text's topic and key ideas. So, tomorrow during our meet, we're going to talk about why our fear of embarrassment affects how we behave. So, please prepare your answer for discussion or to type in the chat for tomorrow.